as you are accessing your Ruda deep conscious self, then you are seeing the illusions of fear fall away from your reality, and you are no longer giving all of your attention to those around you that are living in chaos. This is how you are upgraded more, as you are not seeing importance in trying to change your outer reality, no matter how trauma-filled it is, and this is where you are restored into more of your power as a light source. With this comes a natural feeling of grace that you feel in knowing that you are from our light team and who I am as your commander Ashtar, of who we are of the angelic realms, of the galactic federation of light into completion stages. You will be shocked every time if you feel that you are dealing with only one being that is talking in such transmissions. And time, and time, again we as one galactic crew see many workers for the light, looking at form, and seeing that as only one being. Sure, all of our galactic crew work through various forms, and such light work is not created for fun, it is created to spread awareness to help those souls, choosing to ascend beyond all death cycles. This is how our purpose as one light team is accomplished so that you are able to see more of a direct feeling to be uplifted from, to heal from, to accept more, and then to realize deeper states of balance, inside. It is your role to keep up to date with your own progress for our galactic crew, to see how consistent you are in your path for ascension, and it will not be an easy journey for those of you starting out, and those of you even that are working for years see how difficult it is. The simplicity although comes in your ability to trust your abilities, to know that you are able to create from source, and then by knowing this inside, then you are seeing the rolling of energies that manifest into your light. Through your intentions to create from your source, then it allows you to welcome in the necessity of producing in high volumes of light work. And then in being able to maintain this over many years is how you are the best for our light team. It was never told to you that it would be an easy job, with little to no work needed, and the more hard you work, the more results you will see in spreading to the masses, as sure, it is about being dedicated to more oneness. This unity is always inside of you, and it is important to realize that as you are activated, You are given all of the attention necessary, and as you are risen into more of a heightened awareness, then it is up to you to create more. To choose to keep going on your light work is all encouraged to all of you, and there is not a moment when ascension is not in your reality, as long as you keep your focus, and guided pathway seriously. As you being God, you are creating this reality and you are bringing in more awareness into such a physical body, and it is about knowing this now, not focusing on the mind which will say otherwise. The presence that you bring into this world is a great masterpiece, and it shows you that no other light worker on this planet has done what these messages have done on such a consistent basis with no days off. Sure, there are those that are advanced in various ways, that create artwork non-stop every day, and that is a cycle of talents that are welcomed, among the various abilities that you all have. When you are the best at something, it shows in your dedication, in how you expand into more unity, into more balance, and it is not an ego focus to say that you are the best at your awareness of ascension. If you were not the best at ascension, then you would not have been chosen to come here to incarnate on this planet, to spread massive amounts of information about consciousness. Through joining more with who we are of the Galactic Federation of Light, of your angelic guardians, then you are welcomed into a pathway where the divided natures of duality no longer serve your vibration. Many souls are taught that if you are not seeing another physically daily in 3D, then you are not focused on unity, but division, and that is of no truth, as in being awakened, then you are working independently, still able to connect to our star nations on various ways of being. This is about you remaining in a state of consistent progression, into more truths that are from the highest order of heaven as those that have talked about ascension, 
unquit already, often made up a lot of lies, and then made it more difficult for those of our galactic cruiseries now. It is important to have forgiveness for those souls who have spread ego focuses about ascension, when it comes to saying that all of the earth changes would happen by December 21st, 2012, and if it did not happen, then, it will never happen. That was one of the biggest lies that has been spread about ascension, and sure, it was an energy shift for the last wave of ascended masters to awaken, and certainly not the end of the ascension process. Through your unfolding of more of your sacredness, then you are not focused on those who will say with ego, liar, 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 until then know that you are speaking from your true self. In being multidimensional, you are aware that as you complete so much light work, as you greet so many non-humans on this world, this changes everything about your life. Before you were activated, you noticed you knew something was up, but still not able to really point it out, and now you know that in being from the stars, your life makes sense now. You see how your volunteer missions have come to serve you in your awakened state of being into more of your higher self, into more of a welcoming of your multidimensionality. In traveling from the future back into the past now, you are aware of how the future already exists, and it is not a what-if kind of scenario where you are not aware of the new earth being a reality. Your own connection inside is already on the new earth frequencies which is allowing you to come into completion of your light work, clearly, and gracefully. Sure, as you awaken, and complete much light work over many years, many portals of light will open up inside of you, removing states of severe amnesia, and it is certainly strange when you know who are of our galactic crew, and which are not. You will notice that intuitively. When speaking to our ground crew, there will be those who are just completely unaware of who you are, and treat you as a stranger, and this is not about placing judgment with the ego over such souls. No, it is about maintaining forgiveness, and then continuing on your path, into your own inner knowing to keep sharing, and shining your light into a divine creation of more light. You are not here to wait on any signals to continue your activation process, you are here to ascend by your will now, as all of our galactic crew are here to assist you in such a way as you choose to continue onwards. Through your own feeling of healing, then you will notice there will be times when you will have many tears, much physical pain, and as you go through this, then you are healed into a state of completion. In completing more of your missions, then you are upgraded into states that are miraculous, that are centered in your own renewed, undevolved state all in your body now. This is your own warm surprise as you are being more advanced into your light paths, to then enter more in your glorious divine heritage in being from the stars. We stand in the Christ frequencies now, we are the angelic realms. We are the Galactic Federation of Light.